Welcome to On This Day, where we explore the impactful moments that occurred on June 27 throughout history. First, we're commemorating Helen Keller Day, observed each year on June 27, marking 146 years from her birth in 1880. Despite losing her sight and hearing in early childhood, Helen Keller's resilience and exceptional accomplishments showcase the vast potential of individuals with disabilities. Her legacy has not only inspired millions globally, but also transformed perceptions about disability and championed the rights of the disabled. Next, we journey back to June 27, 1895, 128 years ago from today, when the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad's Royal Blue made its inaugural run from Washington, D.C., to New York City, becoming the first American passenger train to be powered by electric locomotives. This landmark event, spurred by advances in electrical technology and a push for efficient intercity travel, not only revolutionized the railroad industry but also paved the way for a new era in transportation, impacting urban development and the growth of American cities. Next, we journey back to May 10, 1871, 152 years ago from today, when the yen was established as the official monetary unit of Japan, replacing a complex system of feudal currencies. This significant shift not only modernized Japan's economy, facilitating domestic and international trade, but also marked an essential step in Japan's transition into a unified and globally influential economic power. Next, we're traveling back to June 27, 1954, 69 years ago from today, when the world's first nuclear power plant began operation in Obninsk, near Moscow, Russia. This groundbreaking event, driven by the pursuit of new energy sources during the atomic age, not only pioneered the use of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes, but also sparked debates about nuclear safety, and had profound implications for global energy policies and the course of scientific innovation. Lastly, we revisit June 27, 1977, 46 years ago from today, when Djibouti declared its sovereignty, marking the end of a century-long French colonial rule, this significant milestone, brought about by mounting nationalist movements and international pressure, not only shaped Djibouti's path towards self-governance and nation-building but also represented a pivotal moment in the larger narrative of decolonization in Africa. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily historical adventures.